<laughs> well, I am in a hearing on a, on a subject at the moment which occupies much of our time and attention, namely uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. But I'm delighted to take a few moments to pay public tribute to my friend out of Panama. Thank you. I'd like to uh, share with you brief excerpts from a congressional record statement that I prepared. And as you know, uh, being part of the congressional record makes you part of American history. And we are honored to have you as such. Uh, when I presented this to my colleagues, this is in part what I said. Baruch Tenenbaum, in an extraordinary way, made enormous efforts to promote the life and mission of World War II hero Raoul Wallenberg. As a young Swedish diplomat, Wallenberg was responsible for saving nearly 100,000 Jews from Budapest from the horror of the Holocaust. And on a personal note, I might add, two of them are seated next to you. Um, Raoul disappeared in 45, and uh, to this day, although Annette has spent years of her life <coughs> attempting to ascertain what happened, we are still unsure and uncertain. Ms. Tenenbaum is one of the most significant leaders globally in carrying on Raoul Wallenberg's name and legacy. He started to work for the Wallenberg cause uh, years ago. He was devoted to supporting the Jewish community in Argentina and to creating a deeper understanding between Jews and Catholics worldwide. He was the first general director of the Argentine Israeli Cultural Institute. And there is a long list of achievements which uh, I have included in my congressional record statement. Let me just say, uh, Baruch, that you are deeply in your debt. You have become an international figure who has taken upon yourself the task of seeing to it that Raoul's legacy continues globally. So may I, on behalf of the Congress of the United States, present you this congressional record statement and express our deepest appreciation. I am there, really there, and I know you are 
my time is restricted. I thank you very much. I appreciate it. And it, uh, it will, uh, will be just served to start a new chapter, which will be the same as the previous one. Thank you, Jerry. We are deeply grateful to you. We are living in the very best of times. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You, you made our day. We are deeply grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we are proud of the work you have done. Wonderful. We are going to, to work further. I have no doubt. doubt. No, absolutely. And count on us for whatever we can do. Wonderful. We, I will do it. And thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Well, thank, you thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, yeah. sweetheart. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure thank seeing you. you. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye, so, okay. sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah, nice yeah, to yeah, see you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see you. Very nice seeing you. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. I, I will we have, want to have an exhibit of all of these things. I think he's a fantastic I'm, I'm planning to have an exhibit of Whatever you wish. Yeah. He's uh, he comes been working. He, he, he has been working after, on that. After he caught Eichmann. Yeah. Uh, it took a, a while. Yeah. yeah. So we okay. met again. And every Wednesday, while we are the same city, we have lunch together. He's a wonderful man. And he, I'd like you to bring him to Washington. So I can yes. talk about the next oh, exhibit. Whatever you wish. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Very much from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.